Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FPGA driver RGB prison light. So first things, let's take a look at our RGB module. And this is our RGB module. Okay. You will see the first pin is R red. So the second is G, the third one is B blue. The last one is red. Okay. So this is our RGB module. Okay. So next thing is uh, how we drive it to get the breathing light. So for the breathing light, we need to generate the waveform like this. This is actually the PW M control. For the PWM, we have the period. Okay. The period like this, like this. So we need one value to generate the period. One count value. And also we need another value to control the width of the high level. And also we need one value to control the direction, change direction. We use the high level, we use the high level to turn on the light, turn on the light. When the width of the high level decrease, the brightness of the light is also decrease. When the width of the high level increase, the light, the brightness of the light will increase. So we need one, we need another one value to present. It is decrease or increase. Okay, so let's take a look at the code, how we actually code it to generate the breathing light. So this is the code, this is RGB uh, LED module for our FPGA driver RGB light. And uh, this is module name, module name. This is input signal, output signal. And this is count number, present the period value. Okay, so this is the three value for our Oh, flag, flag here, count one, count one here, count two, count two here. Okay. So uh, the first one is very simple one. It increase the count one value to get the period. When it arrives, this one, it uh, equal to zero. The second one is control the is control the uh, count to value in the flag. So when the first value when the period arrive, and then we will increase uh, we will increase the second value, or we will decrease the second value depends our flag, okay? If our flag is zero, if our flag is zero, so we will increase it. Increase it to this value. And then we will change the flag value. When the flag is one, we will decrease it until it is zero and then change the flag value again, okay? During this time, when the first value not equal to this period value, keep the, keep the second value as the same, is the same, okay? So the last step, we use this one, we use this compare 
to generate the width of the high level. To generate the width of the high level. Okay, we gener to generate this part. Okay. So this is the code. Uh, let's uh, compile and download it to see the actually result. Okay, let's download it. Download. Okay, finish. So let's take a look at the result. Is this one? So it's like a, 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 it is breathing. You will see. It's like breathing. Okay, so um, that's it. This is the uh, uh, FPGA driver RGB breathing light. This is Michael. Thank you for your watching. See you next time.